Hello and welcome to Adam's Tutorials. This week is going to be another um, historically inspired hairdo. Today I'm going to be doing this um, sort of 1900s um, hairstyle that was quite popular at the time. Also called uh, sort of the Gibson Girl hairstyle. Uh, but it might also be suitable if you want to do uh, an Edwardian or um, maybe even steampunk look. And um, if you want to know how to do this, uh, please keep on watching. For today's look, you will need um, something to bulk out your hair again. Something like hair donuts or hair scrunchies or these sort of buffon clip clips. Um, if you have thicker hair, you might be able to do this with a rolling technique. But my hair is quite thin, so I need something to bulk it out with. You also need uh, bobby pins, um, a sectioning comb, a teasing comb, uh, maybe a hairbrush, and if you want, some accessories. Um, oh yeah, and some hairspray. For this hairstyle, you want to start off with um, sectioning, sectioning a circle around the crown of your head. And you want to make sure you have enough hair, again, as in with my uh, tutorial for the Marie Antoinette hair, to cover your um, donuts that you'll be using later on. I'm working on curled hair, you, you don't need to do this, but I find it easier, especially with the teasing and the, and the pinning into, especially if you have fine hair like me, um, it can help a bit. So what I'm trying to do is sort of sectioning a round circle on my crown. Once you're happy with how you sectioned that, then you can Clip this out of the way for now. I'm just going to use one of these little clips and secure that on top of my head. So make it sure it's nice out of the way. All right. Next step is to sort of create this sort of voluminous and soft-looking um, bouffant all the way around your your head. And I'm going to be using a couple of tools to help me bulk out my hair. So. I'm going to start with the front section and I'm going to get a little bit of a hairspray before teasing. So tease the back of that. And then I'm going to place my help piece in there. <laughs> and fold my hair over that. Try and smooth it out as much as possible. And then bring your hair around it. And you want to pin it into the, the help piece. I need a couple of bobby pins to keep it in place. If you need it, smooth it over again. And hairspray. For the next bit, I'm going to be using these <laughs> rather funny looking donut things. This one actually you can form to a first full circle as well if you want. So that's quite handy. Since this one doesn't have a clip to hold it in place, I'm first going to pin this. These the front and the back, so we keep it in place. I'm going to take the next section, as before, comb it through, a little bit of hair spray, tease it. And fold it around your uh, help piece. Now, since my hair is a bit longer here than the fringe, I'm just going to roll up my hair and pin that here at the back. Now make sure that your um, your hair seems to conf uh, form a continuous sort of uh, roll around. So make them meet up, that's what I'm trying to say. And smooth out and try and fix any 
areas that are meeting up. Here's right. And use as many body pins as you need to keep it in place. Sort of try and tuck that little curl under your uh, your hair uh, donut. A fly away. <laughs> To the other side now. Take the other sausage. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, I'll call it a sausage. Pin that onto my head. Try and make a meet up at the back if you can. Looks like I may need a couple more. At the back, I'm just going to stick on one of these twist in ones. They and to hold a bit better. Once you've made your all the way around, make sure that all the donuts are covered. Now we're going to take out this uh, middle section that we secured earlier. And you have a couple options for this. Um, you can either um, make a couple of uh, pin curls and pin them to your head, or you can try this, which I think is rather fun, is split the hair in two. And what I'm going to do is twist them. And you want to make sure you twist them in the same um, direction. So I always have to think about this. So yeah, twist them in the same direction. And then in the opposite direction, twist them around each other so you end up with a rope braid. Come to the ends. You may want to fold it in half. And arrange this on the top of your head into a little bun or sort of a long shaped bun. like so. And don't worry about all this um, sort of messiness going on at the moment. I'm going to fix it in a moment. So attach that rope braid to the top of your head. Piece is very determined to fall out, isn't it? <laughs> Once you have that, you have the roll and you have your little bun on top of your head and then I'm going to cheat a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to do is grab one of my um, wefts of my hair extensions, comb that through, so fold your um, hair extension in half and make an ordinary braid in the flat. And once you've uh, finished Come to the end of your extension, uh, just finish off with a clear elastic. Then you end up with this, and what you want to do, and I'm going to cheat a little bit and put it in the place where I obviously have some pink, and you want to hide these clips obviously. You can clip them or you can just shove them under your, um, your donuts that you used. Try and hide them as best as you can. And then arrange your braid around your bun and tuck the ends under the other side. And if you want to, you can grab another piece of your extensions and, and add um, one to the back as well. So it goes all the way around. And if you meet up the colours <laughs> correctly, you won't even be able to tell that it's two pieces. So pin the second um, braid onto your head. And I'm trying to cover up a bit of my green hair here because I think it looks a bit more, more harmonious to, um, to only have the pink and the purple showing. And if you need to um, sort of 
hide your um, extensions a little bit better you can always put in a hair accessory or something like that to cover up any bits you don't want to be showing so this is the final result so this is the top and obviously this would look a bit more harmonious if you had one hair color rather than a lot <laughs> like me and the back Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified of new videos. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys!